Boxing King Media in association with Boxro uh, here in Cardiff with boxing royalty, a Welsh boxing legend, Gavin Rees. Gavin, it's nice to meet you for the first time uh, here in Wales. Yes, yeah, good. I'm uh, looking forward to our action packed show tonight down in Cardiff Vale. So, we've got six, seven fights on. Hopefully, um, all the Welsh boys win and keep building the momentum. There's big shows back in Wales. It's what we want and what we need, to be honest. You're a trainer now, so just tell the fans what kind of guys could we keep an eye out for tonight from the from this side of the world? Oh, there's a lot, lot, uh, lot of good crop coming for the Welsh, uh, Welsh system now. Uh, hopefully, in the next uh, couple of years, like, I'll be following Joe Cordina's uh, footsteps and start winning titles. Not as world titles yet, small sets, British titles, European, start getting some big shows in Wales. So, so we need some headliners. We need some uh, boys to break through, win titles, and headline these shows so the young boys coming through. I spoke to Gary about this before. Why do you feel like this kind of, like from your era, there was you, there was Joe Calzaghi, Gary Lockett. You were kind of flying the flag for Wales, but it just seems to have gone really quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, we uh, we were flying back in uh, the late late uh, 90s. Then we had, uh, we had a we had a couple of brave, like Lisa, but they was on their own, lone, lone soldiers. We had like back in the day, we had me, McNally, Joe, Cleverly. We were all flying. We had a massive team down in Wales, all world champions in the same gym. So. But right now we're on a crust off something big again going for Welsh boxing. We've got a lot of boys breaking through this year with a bit of luck. And, we, and like I said, we need that. We've, been, we've missed that for the last 10 years. Well, that's sad. But the last 10 years, we haven't had the home shows in Wales where these boys need to, to get on. I feel like your name doesn't get mentioned enough. You know, I'm a two time British champion, European champion, and a world champion. You, you did it all. And for, you know, I don't mean the disrespectfully, but obviously your height, you were smashing up guys a lot bigger than you. Yeah, yeah well, I said, yeah. Uh, Let's say we need some stars like myself breaking through and headlining the show. I, I box in the CAA. Um, until Joe boxed in the last, I'm not sure they had another show since, sir, but we need, it's nice in the veil, don't get me wrong, but we need to be in the centre of cars down there in the Motor Point Arena. Ed, so we need some of these boys headlining that, or Liam Williams to come through, uh, he's still a big star, maybe get a title and be headlining there. And then all these boys coming through after and be good times back for Welsh boxing again. But right now we've got about 10 boys just under the radar who's going to break through, I think. I hope so, Gav. I just want to quickly get your opinion on a couple of boxing topics at the minute. Chris Eubank Jr., Conor Ben. Obviously, Conor's kind of doing what you kind of did in your career, fighting bigger guys. Has he got it? Can, can, he, can he beat Chris Eubank Jr.? What do you think? Uh, back right, it was only a couple of pounds. No, he's given up two weight divisions. Uh, it's big of a starving Conor. Really like the height, the height oh, difference. Yeah, no, well, yeah, no, yeah, I think it would be a step too far. You know, I'd love, I'm a big fan of Conor Ben, uh, you know, but I just think it would be a great, a great fight for the public, but I see Eubank winning, to be honest. I think he'd be too strong. I've seen how he's boxed bigger boys like uh, Liam Williams, George Groves, and he's never really been hurt by them. So for a welterweight to come up and hurt him, it'd be something special, you know what I mean? Usyk, Joshua, seven days away. With everything else going on with the new extra trainer and Usyk putting on 15 kg in weight, how do you think it's going to go in the rematch? Well, hopefully it's slowed him down and Joshua can get to him. So the fact everyone wants to see is obviously Joshua. I know Fury's saying he's retired, he'll come back when he fights Joshua. I think that's the fight all the world would want to see. So hopefully he can put it off and then He's got my vote anyway, hopefully he does it. I've got to ask you one last question. A former opponent of yours, I think nine years ago, you yeah. fought Adrian Broner. Yeah. He's coming back next week. Yeah. Did you ever think he'd be fighting on nine years later? Yeah, well, bloody I know. Uh, actually, he sent me a message about two months ago on Instagram. So I had a little chat with him. I said, we well, need to get back to winning ways and be the fight he was when he boxed me. Because when he boxed me, he was bloody good. You know, I said, you need to let his hands go. The last couple of years, he haven't let his hands go. When he, when he boxed me, he didn't let him stop going. You know, he pounded my brain in. <laughs> so I said that, and he just said laugh out loud. He said, yeah, I'm going to get back to it, bro. So he does. It's funny you should say that, because the last time he did let his hands go was probably in your fight, and ever since, yeah. it seems to slow down. It just seems to slow down. When, like I said, when he boxed me, it wasn't the one shot, it was the five, six, and seven, which you just, you can't answer for, to be honest. And that's what it takes to be at the top level. What else did he say in your Instagram DMs? He said he had a conversation. Oh, nothing to say, you know, we're good and all that. He, he actually texted me, he did it blues, he said, what's up? <laughs> so I just had a little chat with him, and he said, he said you, uh, this, this was before the fight was announced. Are you coming back? He said, yeah, I'm in a couple of months. He said, well, you need to uh, dedicate the last couple of years of your life, lay your hands, go look at when he boxed me, and uh, be, being a beast again. And he said he's, that's what he's working on, so hopefully see him back to winning ways. Top man. You see last time on the camera when they get now, but don't do it. Behind the cameras, most boxers all don't do it, and they just talk to each other, you know. You sort of, when you box, you get that bond, then it's just, it's just there, you know what I mean? So hopefully he comes back as well. Definitely. Nice meeting you, Gavin. Yeah. Thank you. Top man, thank you.